Okay, so I'm driving on my way to work and I just had a few thoughts because during this cleanse, one of the main things that I've realized and discovered about myself is just how easy it is for me to work on my physical body, but not mentally. Um, so this cleanse has been for my mental and physical health and mental has, or sorry, physical has been a breeze, but that physical cleanse has brought up a lot of past negative emotions or behaviors that I thought were gone. Um, I can't say for sure whether or not I'm cleansing or purging those. I can't say for sure whether or not they'll come back. But one thing that I did realize, and this is something I realized before, but it's just solidifying that thought, is that I'm in control of my own emotions. I am control of my mind and at the end of the day, at my core, I know I'm a person that loves themselves. I know that I am excellent. I know that every being is beautiful and wonderful and worthy of being loved just because they're on this earth and that I'm no different than that. But what I also understand is that those thoughts as they come, they are not me. Um, because I don't want to feel that way about yourself. Whenever you're in a negative state of mind, that's not how you want to feel about yourself. And it's just, okay, well, if I don't want to feel this way, then why am I thinking these thoughts? Well, it's because those thoughts aren't you at your core. Those aren't the essence of your being of who you are and realizing that there's two separate kind of battles going on or mentalities going on. And it's just like, damn, well, there's two of them, so okay, let me consciously choose the one where I feel good, not the one where I feel bad. And it's just, for me, that realization brought me out of a period of depression. So I was a highly functional, depressed person or whatever you want to say. So nobody knew. And some people that I told didn't believe me because they saw my personality. They saw I was an extrovert. And a lot of the people who commit suicide and who in their own lives and are sometimes the least happy are the ones who are outgoing the ones who are working hard to make other people laugh because they know that's what they need in their life right they know they don't want to feel bad anymore so they want to bring joy to other people but you know that often masks it okay so the point that I'm trying to make basically is with these parasites, I read an article that they hijack your neurochemicals and actually your serotonin levels and there's some others too that they deplete them or even increase them to increase your appetite for sugar or to when they decrease your serotonin levels, that's because serotonin actually paralyzes them. So that just further reiterates the thought in my mind that those thoughts aren't me okay so not only is it a mental battle but it's a physical battle within your body and at the end of the day you always have the choice now the choice may not be just choosing one thought pattern over the other right it may be choosing what you eat because that has an impact of how you feel about yourself it has an impact on your mental state your mental clarity Okay, and it's not something, oh, I'm going to choose to eat a carrot today and that's going to make me happy. No, it's something that's long term. I'm going to choose to eat a well-balanced diet because that is what's going to get me closest to being at my most optimal state and at my happiest. And that's what's really important to me. And just having that realization that I can make a choice is really what helped me bring me help to bring me out of that depressed state but unfortunately in doing that cleanse so when you're cleansing parasites you're actually shaking them up and they're doing any and everything they can do to survive and that means that they're jacking up your neurochemicals a lot more so it's harder and I, I realized that I came to this place where I was really good at managing and balancing those emotions using my perspective and thoughtful thinking and you know is it worth it to feel these negative emotions and usually that's enough to pull me out of it and make me feel in a better state but this week it just has not been and it's because there are you know demons I guess within me I call them demons oh bastards within me that are fighting that were fighting harder than I was at the time because I didn't know how hard I needed to fight but just having that awareness and 
you know, it, ma it makes it sound easy, but coming to the realization that you have a choice and actually believing it, that's the hard part to get to, but that's what's gonna, sorry. That's what's gonna make it easier to have that baseline. So my reoccurring thought is I have control over my emotional state and I'm gonna choose to be happy, but not having or not knowing that you have that choice and that power, it's about reclaiming your power and acknowledging that you have it, okay? So anyways, that's just what I wanted to share. I hope that it helps somebody. I hope it helps someone provide clarity. And I'm not saying I'm gonna fix anything, but hopefully this serves as a baseline for people to do the research on their own and to restructure your, your self discovery and discovering yourself because maybe you're going about it the wrong way. Um, I tend to think that something is wrong with me or like external forces and it's just maybe something is wrong with me and the only thing that's wrong with me is not realizing how powerful I fucking am at the end of the day and that I have the power to make that choice. So peace, love, and olive oil. Can't say chicken grease anymore because you get chicken grease from frying chicken, but we don't do that over here because we be Also, a few other things that I'd like to add. So this period of depression was mainly during college, and um, I would say it's funny. Uh, there were periods of time I would show up late to track practice, and everyone thought it was funny, which, looking back, it was funny as hell. But part of the reason was because I was just randomly crying myself to sleep, couldn't go to sleep at night, just in anguish over my personal turmoil and battles. But again, I never spoke to it. And people, like, the way that I act, people would never believe that that is something that I was dealing with or managing. But it happens to people. There is no face of depression, okay? You wanna talk about it, shit. I'm a face of depression, but it comes in multiple forms and it doesn't look the same for everyone. And, you know, I feel, and I'm not going to concretely give this to veganism, but definitely I noticed a shift in my ability to manage it and running through my thought process in conjunction with a vegan diet. Not all to a vegan diet, but in conjunction with it. I spent a lot of time reprogramming my subconscious mind and that's, you know, having that ability to catch those thoughts and be like, ah, 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 this is not me. So it doesn't end at being able to say or being able to realize that these thoughts are not me. It's knowing that and using that as a tool to reprogram and reshape your mind to be fit, to be focused, to be healthy, to have clarity and self-love for yourself. But that's definitely where it started. So that is the little add-on that I want.